In this video, we're going to look at using the bow saws. So this is the, the largest saws that we use um, at Forest School. Uh, and this is really for cutting sort of more substantial pieces of wood. So we're looking at, you know, anything from that kind of diameter up to larger logs if you do need to, to cut those. Um, there are a variety of different sizes that we can use uh, from very small ones like this which can be quite good for children when they're first learning to use the bow saw up to much larger handles that can be used by two people together. They're all the same design so they all work with a, a blade that is under tension. We need to make sure that the blade is kept under tension so that means tightening up the blade if necessary. With the bow saws I would suggest that you're thinking about ratios again and how experienced the children are in using the tools. This is something that we might introduce later on in a forest school programme, so perhaps not at the beginning. But as I say, you can use the larger tools, the larger bow saws, with a child. So you have one of you on either end and you can really control then and help them to establish that kind of routine and the feel for using the tool. When we are thinking about um, storing our tools, again, the blades are covered. So it's the same with all of the tools. We've got these blade covers which fit on to the blade itself. So we to make sure that those are in place and, and not broken. And when we're moving with the tools, again, if we can keep them in the tool bag and move them in the tool bag, that's the safest way to do it. But if we do need to move around the woods with the bow saws, we should be thinking about having that blade down towards the ground. So a bit like a handbag, we're carrying it at the side with the blade facing down. In terms of the safety procedure, we're still wearing our glove on the non-working hand because this is a, a tool where we've got one hand that's a working hand and one hand that isn't. Um, we're still thinking about our safety bubble, making sure that we're working in that designated area where we're uh, familiar and we know that the, the tool use is happening in that one particular place. We've got our workbench here, our log that we're going to rest the piece of wood on to saw. So again we'll make sure that that's nice and comfortable and that your gloved hand, the non-working hand, is away from the saw blade. When we open the, the blade, um, it's very tricky to do it with the glove on so just do it very carefully you can actually see that there are two different types of teeth that you can find on these saws. The first one are these regular teeth here. Uh, these are designed for cutting dry wood. So if you're cutting dry wood or firewood, then you're looking for a blade like this with the regular teeth. If you're cutting green wood, like this piece, which is fresh wood that's just been cut, then you should be looking for a blade with slightly bigger teeth and these teeth here are called raker teeth so these help to clean out the sawdust from the cut which makes it much more efficient so make sure you've got the right blade on your saw for the job that you're trying to do you can see that the tools are a bit damaged here but as long as the blades in good condition this kind of thing is just a wear and tear so we're going to hold on to the handle and make sure we've got the glove on the non-working hand, nice thick glove. And then again, thinking about the knees. So the same with all of the saws, the knees are out of the way of the line of the saw. So if you do slip, you're not going to cut your leg. We're going to do a few backward strokes to get the groove going. And then the key thing with the bow saw is that we're keeping it nice and steady and regular and using the whole length of the blade. I'm not pushing down at all, just gently backwards and forwards, letting the saw do the work. And it should be quite an efficient way of cutting through fairly large pieces of wood. As soon as we've finished, the blade cover is going to go back on and the tool is then going to be stored away in the tool bag ready for the next use. So that's how we're using a bow saw safely and effectively in our forest school sessions.